Hey everybody. Um, so thanks all for watching the channel. Thanks for subscribing. If you haven't, please do subscribe. Um, but uh, we're here at Suncoast Audio this morning and I wanted to give the results and talk a little bit about the shootout that we did in the uh, second to last video. Um, so, um, you know, I was surprised by the comments because most of you, actually, the ones that tried to guess what was playing, A or B, and guessing what the source was, most of you got it right. So hats off to you. Um, I, I read all the comments. We had uh, close to 100 comments and votes from people. Um, some people just commented but didn't tell me what their preference was. But um, the great reveal, yeah. So... Once again, we were doing the, the shootout of the MSB transport with the, which Mike is going to show you here. It's got the second power supply. It is a CD, SACD transport made by MSB, and it goes fiber optic or what they call I2S into the MSB Select 2 DAC. So it is just a transport. There is no DAC in that CD player that you see there. So it's just taking the digital signal off of the CD and putting it into the DAC. Now, the other source that we were using was the Taiko Extreme, which Mike is showing you there. And it is using XDMS, which is uh, Taiko's new awesome sounding software. Um, it's currently, I believe, in an alpha um, version, and they're constantly issuing new updates of the alpha version. It's getting probably pretty close to beta if it isn't already. Um, so those were the two sources. In terms of cabling, um, we were using a um, all, both, all of the the streamer and the DAC and and the Taco and the uh, sorry the transport and the Taco were all using uh, Nordos. Um, Valhalla 2 power cables. So everything was using, you know, the exact same cabling. Um, in terms of the USB cable, uh, which we use to go into the Pro USB in the, um, the MSB DAC, it is a, uh, an Omega, Shinyata Omega. So that is, uh, you know, one of the best sounding USB cables out there. We also like the Nordos USB cable as well, uh, but we didn't have one long enough. So we we're using the uh, Shinyata Omega into the Pro USB module, which then converts it to I2S fiber optic, just like the transport. So at the end of the day, the DAC was getting fiber optic from the transport and it was getting fiber optic from the Taiko. Um, I will tell you right now that A was the Taiko, the, the server, and B was the CD player. Um, in our uh, voting, we had 42 people selecting B, which was the CD player, and 12 selecting A. So not, not surprising uh, from where I sat, the streaming, and this is not a Taiko thing, this is a Cobas title kind of thing. Uh, we were using Cobas, but the, the, the streaming is definitely, from where I was sitting, a step down sonically from the CD player. Now, where things become even is when we rip the CD, play it on the Taiko into the MSB, and when we play the CD, uh, it's next to impossible to tell, if not impossible to tell. It's almost seamless. So at the end of the day, the, the rip CD going through the Taiko was identical to the CD player. And maybe we will, we will video that and do that shootout for you guys. But I had some other things I wanted to try first. One of them being I wanted to do a power cable shootout. I wanted to try some different power cables and just change the power cables on the DAC and see what you guys thought. So we were going to try a few different power cables and see if you could, you could spot the difference. But um, suffice it to say, um, you know, both sounded very, very good, but there was no doubt that the, the CD is a source versus the Cobas is a source. Uh, there was a, there was a fundamental difference. And just like I've always said, the closer you are to the source, the better I think it sounds. So if you figure out how far that signal is traveling from Cobas' servers and all of the junctions and noise and 
everything else that's going on, it, it's really not surprising that there was as big a difference as there was. So anyway, I want to thank everybody for watching. We are going to definitely be doing more fun shootouts. Um, I, this isn't, again, a knock against Kobas because we use it extensively in the store for everybody to be able to select their music and when they come visit us and they want to demo different products and, and things like that. Um, Mike, am I missing anything else? I think you're good. All right. I think you're good. Well, thanks, everybody, for watching. Again, appreciate it. Subscribe, and if you're looking for any products, give us a call, Suncoast Audio. Thank you.